Hey yo everyone, today we're going to be reviewing Cosmo, the adorable Wally-esque smart toy. Let's take a closer look. So at first glance, Cosmo seemed like a pretty expensive, just remote control toy, the way I looked at the box and everything. But later I learned, using him, that he is more than that, he is, like I said, a smart toy. So here is what you get with Cosmo. You get obviously a Cosmo, and then a charging station over here, which you can actually just set in him, and then when you turn him on, he could just roll right off onto your dash. Charges via USB. So then you get three of these uh, smart cubes, which do interact with the app, which I'm running right here. So with Cosmo, you do get an application that comes with him, and the application essentially runs all of these different features, whether Cosmo thinking, or Cosmo playing games, or falling off the desk. So the application looks like this, and then you have all your sorts of games that you could unlock. You have to basically teach Cosmo different tricks, and then you'll eventually learn these games. It's just kind of, uh, the more you play with him, the easier it is to um, learn these games. So what I learned with the application is Cosmo will open a Wi-Fi port and then you connect to it. That Wi-Fi doesn't have any internet access, so you could connect to Cosmo with the app, but you don't have internet access. So I actually just made, I have my old Galaxy S3 here, I just threw the app onto here so I have a dedicated device for Cosmo. This isn't like a huge setback or anything. Cosmo just fell asleep. You can just use your own device, but I like to use a second device just so that is the dedicated runner of the app. And you need the app um, open to show off Cosmo. Okay, here's a game called Keep Away, where we boot up the app and then hit the game Keep Away and put a cube in front of Cosmo. So the objective here is to put the cube near him and then pull it away before he could hit it. And so he did hit it that time. And he gets excited when he wins, and very bratty when he doesn't win. Or sad. Okay, so we got that one. And the device is making all of the game sounds, but Cosmo has his own speaker as well. So there are different outcomes Cosmo can get when winning or losing. There are ones where he throws the cube and gets really upset, or ones where he's really ashamed of losing and covers his face. So you're just going to have to play around with it and see what kind of outcomes you get. In short, Cosmo is built to react to multiple stimuli different ways each time. I'm not saying I can guarantee that he will react differently each time, but he has built-in reactions, so he will be able to show what seems like emotions. And if you want to mess around with how he reacts and everything else, there's actually built-in SDK, I believe, in the app you could download and then mess around with basically all of his um, intelligence and whatnot to see how Cosmo works. In the end of the day, Cosmo is a tad expensive, but you're not paying for a cheap remote control Cosmo like I thought I actually would be. Like I said, Cosmo reacts to multiple situations different ways, so it feels like he has emotions and it feels like he has, you know, it feels like he's having fun or upset and you can just leave him on your desk. Cosmo really does feel alive. I really like how they built him and the animations they do and his face is just amazing. So if you feel like getting Cosmo, feel free to pick him up in the store. This is not a sponsored video. I just loved Cosmo from day one, and he is a great little smart toy. And there's still more I have to learn about him through the app and whatnot. Yeah, so this was a review for Cosmo, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And then please let me know what you think in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe for more reviews like these. And I have some other planned videos as well. So without further ado, say goodbye, Cosmo. Okay, Cosmo, time to go to bed.
night, sweet prince.